Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for June 19th of 2022, well, it is titled Game Super Planet Crash. So what do we see here? Well, it is a game that you can play uh, to try to build a solar system and to put various objects in it. And there are a number of objects you see lifted listed on the left hand side, including Earth sized planets, ice giant planets, something like Uranus or Neptune, a giant planet like Jupiter and a brown dwarf or just a failed star and a dwarf star. So a very a smaller star. And you can put all of these things together and you can add up to 10 planets here. And as you do, it will give you more and more points. So the larger uh, objects you try to put in the solar system, then the uh, the more points you get and the smaller objects, the fewer points you will get. And the goal is to keep the solar system stable and to keep it within the two astronomical unit, this outer gray circle. So because all of the objects will interact gravitationally, depending on how you put them together, you can eventually throw a planet outside of that. And that is when the game ends. So you have a chance here to explore and we can first of all do a simple exploration with just Earth like planets. So we could add an Earth like planet by clicking and adding another one and another one. And now we have several Earth like planets going. We could even put some in closer to the star here and have a whole bunch of Earth like planets going around in this solar system. Now it's a relatively stable orbit because these are low mass and they're not too close together. So they do very little to deviate each other's orbit. So this system will likely remain stable for quite a long time. And we see now we've already gone up through 30 years and 40 years, but our points are not coming very quickly. We want more if we want to try to get more points, we actually have to try larger uh, objects. So let's go ahead and reset this and start again. Again, we start off with one Earth type planet there, but let's try to add a bigger planet. Let's add an ice giant here. And as we add one and here we see we get a relatively stable orbit. If we put one a little closer, still not too bad. And if we put one even closer to our Earth like planet, we'll st we still see that these are relatively stable. The orbits are not changing very much. So we're not putting anything too much into uh, to changing the orbits here. So let's go ahead and try it with some even larger objects. Let's reset here again. And there is our one planet starting out. Let's do a giant planet. So if we put a giant planet in here, we see it and if we put another giant planet in as well, do we get any deviations and actually we're noticing still very, very little here. Although you start to see and there we do we get kicked out eventually they got too close together and we only lasted 15 years, although we did gain a good number of points. Now we can go ahead and again try again. Let's try a dwarf star if we want to put an actual small star in here and let's put it well away. Watch how it changes the orbit. You'll note, of course, first of all, that the sun is moving as well. It is doing that with the planets as well, but it's because they're much smaller. You don't get a big change there, but you now get that that orbit is continuing. And of course, we're racking up a lot more points for having that dwarf star in there. Now we could try adding another object. Let's try adding an ice giant in here as well and see what happens. And we'll see that it quickly becomes gives them very unstable and goes all over. Is it going to get kicked out of that two astronomical unit limit that we follow here? And we'll keep watching it as it comes closer and closer or as it actually come up with a very odd but unstable orbit up oh, and there it went. It was actually kicked out, but we did get 400,000 points by keeping the dwarf star and an ice giant and an Earth like planet going for 56 years. So you can use the link to this or to the actual image here and the game in the uh, on the in the description to be able to go ahead and try this yourself. See how many points you can get and see if you can get something that will last for the thousand years. That is the limit for this. So that was our picture of the day for June 19th of 2022. It was titled Game Super Planet Crash. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. 
previewed to be mini spires on Mars. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.